Hey, what's going on internet? Joshua Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about color correcting in Premiere. So I have quite a few tutorials on color correcting in DaVinci Resolve. However, I want to do a video on color correcting in Premiere because uh, sometimes you might be on a time crunch and you don't really have the time to jump over DaVinci Resolve and color correct your footage in there. For those of you who haven't heard of uh, DaVinci Resolve, it is the uh, industry standard uh, color correction software that is used in Hollywood to color correct you know, some of the you know, some of your favorite movies that you've seen. Uh, so my goal in this tutorial was to take a clip that I color corrected in DaVinci Resolve right here and to kind of recreate that look inside of Premiere. Um, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys how to do right now. So here's our original clip. You know, it's really flat, you know, not appealing to the eye. But fortunately, Premiere has some really awesome tools to really make the colors pop in this scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Effects, uh, Video Effects, Color Correction, and I'm going to drag down the three-way color corrector, and I'm just going to put it on top of my clip. Here's the three-way color corrector. The first thing I'm going to do is really expose this image, because right now it looks really underexposed to me. So I'm going to drag down this, uh, go to input levels, and I'm going to take the highlight point here, and I'm going to drag it inwards. And that will really you know, give a nice exposure to the scene. I'm also going to bring in the shadows, kind of create a nice little contrast. You know, and then we have a, you know, a decently exposed image right now. It's not perfect. Uh, but it's a good starting point. You know, then I want to go to saturation, and I really want to you know make the colors pop in this one. So I'm going to put the master saturation to all the way to the max of 200%. I'm also going to bring the shadow saturation to 200%, and also the highlight saturation to 200%. And that's really going to bring colors out, even though it looks horrible right now. So just bear with me. Maybe bring up the mid-tone saturation just a little bit. So you know it looks terrible, but don't worry about it. We're going to go up here to our uh, color wheels, and we're going to take the uh, shadows, and we're just going to kind of drag it down to the blue a little bit, kind of create some uh, blues in the shadows. And then we go to the mid-tones and, you know, raise that up to, you know, the orange reds. You know, and then, I, you know, it's still kind of underexposed to me, so I'm going to go to the output levels here, and I'm going to drag this up to about 22. Uh, and that'll kind of really give that, you know, exposed look. It's really still flat, uh, but we'll fix that right now. So I'm going to go to effects, RGB curves, drag that to inside of our uh, effects controls. And then I'm going to go ahead and click a point on the master uh, curve right here. And I'm just going to you know, drag it down a little bit. And then I'm going to put a point at the top and, you know, drag that forward. So we'll get this nice little contrast going here. So far, it looks great. You know, we have a nice little contrast going on. You know, we got a kind of a rich image here. But, you know, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of these colors. I kind of want to, you know, my style is always to make the colors pop out as much as possible. You know, it's all about your style, of course. Uh, so I'm going to go up to... Uh, color balance and put that in here all right so this is where it can get kind of tricky and this is really where you know depending on your own clip you're going to have to kind of mess around with this and this is always optional you know it's really up to you how far you go with color correction uh, so just always you know experiment and you'll see what works uh, so you know I'm going to go to the shadow red balance you know raise that up you know a little bit you know kind of get these colors where I want them to be green sh shadow balance uh, you know, even the blues, you know, truly trying to, uh, you know, make these colors, you know, pop in the way I want them to. I kind of want to have, uh, you know, their hair kind of looking blue, uh, you know, his head and kind of a blue shadow. Kind of want to make the background pop out a little bit more. So, you know, I'm going to go to, you know, you know, so, you know, mid-tone, red balance, you know, raise that up. You know, maybe bring down the greens a little bit. You know, that really help with the skin tones, you know. And that really, you know, it's a very subtle effect, but, you know, in my opinion, it really did a lot to our footage here. And then to top this entire thing off, I'm going to type in unsharpen mask. Okay, there it is. Unsharp mask. Unsharpen mask, you know, really make your image pop. You know, something you should consider, you know, it's like icing on the cake. So really, uh, let's kind of take a look where our original clip was and our... So this is before. And this is after. You know, so it's kind of compare. I know it's not going to be exact, but I kind of like this look even better than my original color correction on in DaVinci Resolve. So this was a eh, funny frame. Uh, this was the original color correction in DaVinci Resolve that I took uh, in the final cut of the film. And then here is our updated Premiere look. So, you know, this one has a little bit more, you know, a little bit you know, more uh, dramatic. This one is a little bit more, you know, has a little bit more exposure in it. And, you know, set the background a little bit, you know, saturated. You know, you can still get some great color correction inside of uh, Premiere. You just have, really have to mess around with what you have. And, you know, in my opinion, these are like the only, uh, you know, filters that you need. Three-way color corrector, RGB curves, color balance, and unsharpened mask. So we're at the end of our tutorial. Uh, 
if you want to learn how to use DaVinci Resolve, I have a series of tutorials on how to use it. And also, you know, if you can drop a like, uh, you know, consider subscribing. That would be awesome. I try to upload as much as I can. And guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.